everyone, if you celebrate, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I hope everybody watching has a Happy New Year. So before I close out this year, I thought, why not go out with my craziest idea yet? So hear me out on this. I think I figured out a way that we might be able to get this border wall up. If you know me, you know immigration is something that I am very passionate about. I would like to see the current immigration laws reformed. I do want them stricter, sorry. We can agree to disagree on that. I want stricter immigration control. I completely support people that, that want to come here legally. I am not anti-immigrant as, as a lot of people might label someone who says that they want strong borders, but I'm gonna stand by that, I want strong borders. So, I've been keeping an eye, and I'm sure a lot of you have, and I'm sure a lot of you have donated to the GoFundMe for the wall. It's right now at 17.5 million. One of the biggest criticisms I've seen for this campaign is that technically there's, there's, there's no, it can, it's almost impossible to give the government money and expect to be able to tell them where you want that money to go. And that's gonna be the issue that this, this whole campaign is going to run into. Now, I don't know if anyone else has suggested this yet. This is something that, that Mike and I thought up the other day when, when we were watching a video about this GoFundMe campaign. I, I then looked to see if anyone else has suggested this yet. I haven't seen it. So if, if you're out there and you've been talking about this and you see this video, I would love for you to contact me. The more people that are on board with this, the better. So, uh, you know, my thoughts are, and I've got a little bit of, of, of mm, I, might, I, might have, I might have reason and I might not be completely off my rocker here. So, well, not about this. So um, here's my idea. What if, instead of creating a border wall, we decided to use that money towards the, let me get their names because I will never ever wanna forget them. What if we made the Sarah Root and Brandon Mendoza Memorial Wall, which stretches across our entire Southern border and is dedicated to the memories of not just the two, not just two lives that were lost, but all of the lives that have been lost to illegal immigrants. Every American citizen, whether you were born here or whether you came here legally, what if instead of Donald Trump's border wall, we got Donald Trump's memorial wall? And rather than you know, slapping his name on it, we put the names on it of the people that have actually been directly affected by illegal immigrants coming into this country. A national monument or memorial can be created by proclamation of a president. We already have a president in place who's very passionate about strong immigration reform. There is, it has happened in the past. In 2012, there was an earthquake in DC and the Washington Monument was damaged. So in order to get the repairs going and, and get this done faster, a philanthropist named David Rubenstein donated $7.5 million to the Trust for the National Mall. So what I'm, what I'm not totally clear on and what I, I, I need to look more into is, is how exactly, you know, it looks like you would need to establish some kind of trust and you would need to secure the land. So you could use whatever land was currently, you know, already owned by the government that, that the current fencing sits on. There's also, you know, the thought of these, we could use some of the money to maybe purchase the land or um, are, are there families that, that have property on the border that would be willing to donate a portion of it towards it? You know, these, these are things that we, we could all, we would need to act really quickly to get this done fast, but I think it's possible. And I even think that we might be able to get some help with this. 
there's there's a group that's met with the president a few times they're called angel families and they were founded by the reason that i name dropped sarah root and brandon mendoza is because i didn't want to i didn't want to politicize anyone's you know anyone's death that hasn't already come out and spoken out about it so that is why i wanted to bring up these two people who tragically lost their lives sarah root was killed January 31st, 2016 by an illegal alien who was drunk driving and street racing. Sergeant Brandon Mendoza of the Mesa, Arizona Police Department was killed on May 12th, 2014 in a violent head-on collision on his way home from work. He was killed by a repeat illegal criminal who had driven over 35 miles the wrong way on four different freeways before slamming head-on into his vehicle. Angel Families is a is an organization founded by Brandon's mother, Marianne Mendoza, and Sarah's mother, Michelle Root. I, I can't imagine that these two women wouldn't possibly want to help. If, if there were, they've been very public and, and advocating for a border wall for some time now. They've met with the president. They, um, you know, they could probably be really helpful with this. And I can't imagine that they wouldn't feel honored to have their children memorialized in this way. So maybe maybe it's crazy. Maybe there's no chance in, in hell that this could ever happen. But that's my crazy idea. Could we, instead of making a border wall, make a memorial wall? And etched across that wall, could we add, could we, could we include the names of every American citizen that's lost their lives completely needlessly because of bad immigration policies? So that's my thought. Um, if you think I'm crazy, that's fine. But <laughs> if you don't think I'm crazy, that's even better. If you think that this idea has legs, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I, you know, give, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, give it a share. I, I really appreciate that. YouTube is is always pushing this channel down, so I directly rely on all of you to to get any of my any of my crazy ideas across. So let me know what you think in the comments. You you are more than welcome to disagree with me and call me crazy. Just be nice, and and I will be nice right back. So happy New Year, everyone. I I wish you a wonderful and safe 2019, and. Be excellent to each other.